Alright guys, this is Seppi's Random Tech, back with part 2 of the ThinkPad T440P upgrade extravaganza. So, as before, we are unplugging the power cable and disconnecting the battery. Then there are just two screws on the bottom cover to remove before you take off the bottom panel. Once you're inside, you will be able to pretty much access everything you will need to upgrade in this segment of the video. First, we are going to be upgrading the storage, which is putting an M.2 42mm SSD in, not a full-length SSD, it has to be a 42mm or it won't fit. And as you can see, it only fits in one way. You also want to make sure that it is a SATA-based SSD and not an NVMe SSD, because NVMe will not work on these models. It's just a matter of putting in the correct way and then putting in the single screw to secure it. Up next, we're upgrading the processor. So like with most other laptop processors, there are four screws you have to remove to remove the heatsink. They just use standard Phillips screws, so it's just a matter of disconnecting them. After this, you're going to disconnect the fan from the motherboard, and then you're going to lift the heatsink out. It should come out on its own, but sometimes you will need to give it a little bit of a push. Up next, we are going to be taking out the old processor. Unlike previous ThinkPads, this one has a different type of screw, but it's a pretty easy screw that can be found in most precision screwdriver sets. And like before, it's just a matter of moving the lock to the unlock position. Now we are going to get our new processor, in this case a 4702MQ processor, and then we're just going to plop it down on the socket and lock it in place. Now we are going to get some 91% rubbing alcohol. You can use whatever you want, but that's what I use. Put it on a damp paper towel and then get the old thermal paste off of the heatsink. If the processor you have installed is used, it might have some old thermal paste on it, so be sure to remove any thermal paste from the processor as well. Also make sure to run a dry paper towel over the parts before you put new thermal paste on. Now we get to put the new thermal paste on. My weapon of choice is Arctic MX4. It's pretty efficient, it's pretty cheap, and it works well. Much better than the stock paste from the factory. Just put a small dot on. You don't want too much. I actually might have put a little bit too much on here. But so far there haven't been any thermal issues, so I'm not going to redo it. Then it's just a matter of maneuvering the fan back into place. Usually it's not very hard, but sometimes it can be stubborn. So just maneuver it back into place, and then secure the four screws back down and reconnect the fan to the motherboard. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me upgrading the RAM but anyone who's watching this video should know how to upgrade RAM. It's not that hard. It's the same as on any other laptop. So after you've performed all of your upgrades, it's just a matter of putting the access panel back on the bottom and then securing the two screws in place. Then in theory, once you turn on the computer, it should be working fine. It may give you a little message about the new processor being installed, but just hit enter or F1 or whatever and it will skip past it. Once everything's started up, you will have to go into either Windows Disk Utility or any partition manager of your choice and initialize the new SSD, as it won't be formatted from the factory. Once it's been initialized and set up, you can install whatever operating system on it you want. Alright, so this was a very quick edition of Sebi's Random Tech with these upgrades. They're very easy on this model. There's no taking off the keyboard or prying off the palm rest or anything like that. Just remove one service panel and then you can access everything you need to upgrade. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get too much video footage of this ThinkPad after I was done working on it, as I gave it to my friend who bought it off of me. And... So far, he's enjoying it. It's been about a month or so since I sold it to him, and he hasn't had any complaints so far. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.